welcome to Sheen Cuisine. Tonight, pork spare ribs with green beans and a sauce made from fermented bean curd. Now, the fermented bean curd doesn't sound exciting. I don't know what it does. It's something you're not gonna find at your local supermarket. You're gonna have to go to an Asian grocer to get it. If you hang on, I will be posting a shopping video shortly and I'll show you how to find it and during this video I'll show you what it actually looks like. So stay tuned. Like I said, it's going to be good, it's going to be exciting, it's a great meal. You'll like this one. We'll start with the green beans first. You're going to break the end with the stem off and depending on how long they are, just snap them in half. Put them in a pan. If you can find someone to help you do this, that would be great. Once you've got them in the pan, cover them with water, and then you're going to put them on the stove and try and get them to a rolling boil. Keep it like that for about two or three minutes. Once it's done, drain them, put them off to the side. We're going to need a bit of lemon rind for this. Slice it off and just slice it into thin slivers. Put it off to the side. Then you're going to take your pork spare ribs and just cut them, obviously between the bones. Throw them in a bowl. Once you're done, you're going to add a bit of oil to it. I, I'm using olive oil, as you can see. Again. Mix it up. You won't need salt in this or pepper. You can always add it later on. And like everything else I cook, we coat it in flour. Give it a good stir. What else? Smash the garlic. Throw it in a pan. Medium heat. Once the pan's warm, add your olive oil. And then just dump the entire contents of that bowl into the pan, spread it out a bit. This entire meal is done over medium heat. Come back, check it every couple of minutes, give it a stir. You don't really want to brown them. You want them to stay sort of pale looking because the sauce itself is going to be a bit on the white side. I add the lemon rind. The pork ribs are probably about half cooked by now. At this point the ribs are just about completely cooked. We're going to add the green beans in. Toss it around, let it sit. Now, it's going to, you're going to want to let it sit for a bit. And this is the magic to the whole meal. It's fermented bean curd. Stick tuned for my shopping video. About five chunks inside there, five little blocks. We're going to mush it up. Really doesn't want to mush easily, but stir it long enough, it will. Add a bit of water to it. Thins it out, makes it look sort of like the consistency of milk. And just toss it on top. At this point, we're going to add some liquid to it. 
This builds up as much sauce as you want. Don't put too much in. Stir it around. And you're gonna let it cook like this for probably another 10 minutes. Now it's time to thicken up the sauce. We've got a bit of cornstarch mixed with water. Pour it in a bit at a time, work your way around the pan. And keep your eye on how thick it's getting. You don't want to turn it into pudding. And that looks just about right. And you're done. Pork spare ribs with green beans and a fermented bean curd sauce. Enjoy.